Hey guys, welcome to the channel. It's The Eradicator and we are going to talk about Urban Venture once again. Guys, this is a game that I am extremely excited about because, well, we're going to be able to drive a chauffeured car around the city of Barcelona. It is going to be reproduced. Not all the city. It was confirmed recently in a dev uh, post that the city was only going to be reproduced. Uh, only 20, uh, 20 square kilometer of the city will be reproduced, but it will be done at the one-to-one -one scale. Barcelona is a big city, so we should still expect to have a large play area of the game, including some of the city's most famous landmark. And recently we've had a brand new devlog here, which is going to bring us some much, uh, much awaited, much anticipated uh, um, news and about the development of the game. Well, the first one I want to talk about here is story arcs and these are going to be based on dialogues that players are going to be having with some of the NPCs that they will be picking up throughout the city. So what we're seeing here is of course a work in progress. It's just a little demo of what is uh, going to be possible with the game. So we got this NPCs here says hey can I tell you something? Uh, so yeah we can uh, so if basically you, you can uh, if they tell you something, you can say, uh, yes, you are excited or unimpressed, right? So you have different possible, uh, d different possible answers and then based on what you're answering then they are going to be uh, then telling their stories or not. And usually having, I used to be in, in, a, in a chauffeur business like this. A couple of years ago, you want to do everything that your customers uh, want to do, right? They want to talk and have a conversation with them. If they don't want to talk, don't have a conversation with them. But then, you know, you also have to not necessarily be a bootlicker, but they you know, tell, oh, wow, <laughs> you have to make them feel that they are the greatest person in the world. You know, that's that's how they that's that. That's how the, you make them feel happy. And this is going to be making the difference between no tip, a tip, or a big tip. And that's also what we're going to see here. These customers eventually will be coming back into your car. If they give you a good rating or not, they, be, they will want to ride with you again. And they'll give you more tip. And all of that is going to be adding to your bank account. So I'm really liking this development that we're looking at here. Next, what we're seeing here is uh, the quick look, uh, quick look and lean. This is not necessarily something new. It's something that we've seen in other games like, for example, uh, Euro Truck Simulator. So that's also very important because, well, hey, Barcelona is going to be a very dense city with a lot of potential dangers everywhere. So you want to be checking out if danger is going to be coming from the right, the left, if um, pedestrians are going to cross the, the street, if uh, cars are going to be coming from one way or another, are they going to be respecting the road signs or not? Very important here. You may also want to be checking out on your passengers' needs too. So uh, nice little little functionality that we are seeing here. Next, what I like here is the damage. Now look at that here. This car is completely ruined, obviously. And that is also going to be very important in this game because, well, your cars are your assets in um, Urban Venture. And if it is completely destroyed, then either the repairs are going to be expensive or going to have to get another car or game will be over. Uh, this car is your life. You're going to have to be taking care of it. That's why you won't be able to do pretty much uh, anything too crazy in this game. I mean, you'll be able to, but uh, the price that you're going to have to pay for your reckless actions are going to be very high. So that's also something that we're looking at here. This, I'm uh, really like, you know, not a lot of games do have uh, proper damage systems simply because, you know, car manufacturers are not really very happy to see their cars damaged on the internet even though if it's a video game so that's why I believe that we're gonna see fictional cars like we see in other uh, types of simulation games as well because simply you new know, car manufacturers are not excited which is a shame but it is what it is and it is looking very impressive Indeed. So really liking what we're seeing here with uh, trend, I was gonna say transport fever with urban venture. Uh, again, a uh, one to one scale, which is again not something that we see a lot in uh, in games. For example, take uh, the Greed series where you have Barcelona. Well, there's this avenue where you have several. Uh, several uh, landscape, but uh, some people who live in Barcelona have told me that uh, the um, the scale is actually over four ki 400 meters in grid, but in reality it's over several kilometers. So it will be uh, it will be interesting to see how uh, the difference of feeling here, uh, because when you drive in grid, those th that 400 meter avenue, it feels so quick, right? Because you're driving so fast and it's only 400 meters. But when you'll be driving that in real 
in this game, you know, at a real scale, it's going to be feeling much longer. So that's why I'm not that concerned about you know, what people say that uh, even though it's only 20 kilometers square, it will feel a little bit cramped because there's just so much to do in a city like Barcelona in 20 square kilometer. Anyway, guys, that was it for the day vlog, the first day vlog of Urban Venture. We'll definitely be uh, keeping up on this game, a game that I'm really excited about, and uh, we'll be talking about it more on the channel. Thank you so much for watching. It's the Eradicator. I will see you guys later. A huge shout out to everyone who's been helping me out on Patreon and via the YouTube Joint Membership Program. Creating content on YouTube involves continuous circles of ups and downs, and it is when we are the lower parts of the curve that your help really motivates me to keep on going. Your contribution really does make a difference, which is why in return I try to give back by offering backers access to my private Discord channel, automatic access to exclusive giveaways, or answering your questions during the show. You can help me out with as little as a dollar a month, and any help is greatly appreciated. Thank you very much for watching again. This is the Eradicator. I'll see you guys later.